Computer Networks, The Heralds of Resource Sharing is a short documentary film from 1972, produced by Stephen King and directed, edited by Peter Schwaney, about ARPANET, an early packet switching network and the first network to implement the protocol suite TCP, IP. Topic. Content The 30-minute film features many of the most important names in computer networking, especially J.C.R. Licklider and others from MIT's Project Mac who had connected a computer to ARPANET the year before. According to a history of computing equipment by Columbia University it "...begins with a montage of equipment and then has interviews with ARPANET creators." The film discusses the potential that this network has for revolutionizing so many industries and institutions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Participants. Speaking parts: Fernando J. Corbato, Corby, voice 045 to 115, face 1 o'clock to 115, 1510 to 1540, Turing Award winner, implementer of multitasking operating systems, J. C. R. Licklider, Lick, 1 o'clock to 140, and many times throughout the film. Licklider discusses how despite the invention of the printing press being a revolution, the transmission of information on paper was slow. He also discusses collaboration, access to digital libraries, the transition to electronic information and the social processes involved in this. Lawrence G. Roberts, Voice 140-225 SIGCOMM Award winner. Robert Kahn, 225-235, 315-625, 655 Turing Award winner. Frank Hart, 235 to 315, 625 to 655. William R. Sutherland, Bert, 1350 to 1510. Richard W. Watson, 1734 to 1830, 2505 minus 25 to 15, mass storage researcher. John R. Pastor, 1830 to 1925. Donald W. Davies, 1925 to 2155. George W. Mitchell, 2155 to 2405, voice only, non-speaking. Daniel L. Murphy, behind the titles, several other times, including about 1544, unidentified. 827 to 832, with beard and glasses, previously misidentified as John Postel. Topic reception. Cory Doctorow called the documentary a "...fantastic 30 minutes of paleo-nerd memorabilia." Matt Novak of Gizmodo said, When you hear a man like J.C.R. Licklider describe the information age before it had even begun to trickle into the public consciousness, we understand how forward-thinking these people developing the ARPANET in the late 1960s and early 1970s truly were. Mark Lieberman described it as Amazing.